All right, guys, it's me, Sammy. Welcome to. Actually, I just accidentally stumbled upon it. Weird. Uh, oh, did you say my name? I don't know the name of this class. Yes, I said your name. <laughs> Looks like I beat you here. I see this. So, did you do your homework, Timaeus? <laughs> I'm the one to hear it. Here's homework. <laughs> oh. Uh, so sorry. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh no. What happened? Am mad at me? <laughs> Timaeus, might I ask how you're progressing? Huh? Traveler and friends. Oh, nice to see you again. Oh, oh we're tiny dragons fine. I don't even know what the heck happened. I don't even remember. Uh, Sucrose has me deciphering an alchemical recipe, but my brain is doing backflips. I, I just don't understand it. Backflips? Oh my goodness. Oh, that, shit my head. <laughs> that hurt. Ugh. So, in other words, no progress? <sighs> no. Oh. Now that you mention it, I can't figure it out either. <laughs> is alchemy really that mysterious? But of course! Alchemy is an ancient and mystical discipline. Yet with the passage of time, those that can be said to have mastered its secrets grow fewer and further between. I hope you like the first ever character on this channel to ever be so wanted of. I, I always wanted Albedo to be on my team. Why not just ask the amazing Albedo? Yes! That was my thinking too! But I believe that Mr. Albedo is still painting on the mountain. And we've got lots of research to do. <sighs> There's no getting around it. If you want my opinion, if Mr. Albedo can't figure out this recipe, nobody in Tavat can. <sighs> Sucrose, what exactly is this recipe anyway? It's a wind bloom recipe I transcribed from an ancient book. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so relevant to the current events. Ooh, what if the wind bloom isn't a naturally occurring plant after all, but an alchemical creation? I mean, what actually the wind bloom actually is? <laughs> oh, now that's an interesting take on the wind bloom conundrum. You misunderstand. The book doesn't say anything about it being a recipe for a wind bloom. The book... <sighs> well, actually, it doesn't exactly have the appearance of a book anymore. It's badly damaged and lots of information is missing. Only a few pages of scattered notes from the original volume have survived. That, and a recipe written in some unknown language. The author mentioned in the notes that the recipe was extremely precious. Timaeus and I are completely unable to decipher the content. Yeah, how do we decipher this stuff, ma'am? I know it might seem inconceivable, but something about it being extremely precious made me think of wind blooms. Huh? But... But what? <laughs> That's an act of imagination. Yep. <laughs> Traveler, if I may be so bold... Yeah, you're gonna ask me to help. <laughs> Could you take this recipe to Mr. Albedo? Mr. Albedo should be at the camp at the foot of the mountain. Ah, oh, the mountain. Now there's a romantic location. Wind bloom. The flower that alchemy made. Sounds exciting. Paimon needs to know the truth. Let's get going. Albedo, here we come. Where's the waypoint? Here we go. Albedo! Wait, oh, yes. Sir. Oh. Traveler and Paimon? And who might this be? This is our tone deaf bard! But you have never met Venti. Venti will do just fine, but yes, I am a bard. Greetings. I'm Albedo, the alchemist. Albedo! Hey! The Wimbledon Festival is in full swing! People celebrating everywhere! And here you are all by yourself! Well, with the Windbloom Festival in full swing, as you say, why would you be out here looking for me? We're helping Sucrose! Sucrose gave us some paper. She says there's a wind bloom recipe from an ancient text on it. Neither she nor Timaeus can understand it, so we came looking for you. A wind bloom recipe? Maybe to read the Alcohol Pro recipe. I see. This is an ancient language. It's no wonder Sucrose and Timaeus couldn't decipher it. Even so. I don't believe this is a recipe for a wind bloom. Wait, what, what, what is this for? <laughs> so what could it be? I could only guess, I'm afraid. In order to reach a conclusion, 
We'll need to see the real thing. Sadly, my hands are full right now. But I can give you a list of ingredients, if you'd like to go gathering. Greens gathering, yeah, of course. I would always love to do this. Yeah, we're back. We got the materials. <laughs> okay, job done. Great work. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Seems we have everything we need. Hmm. Not for the alchemical process. Uh, this shouldn't take long. All the also we will get to work. There we have it. Are you two, you want to find out? Huh. Uh... Is this the wind bloom that Sucrose was talking about? It... <laughs> Looks on. Yeah, that's another episode. It smells familiar. It's just a sweet flower. Oh, no. That's so interesting. Have a closer look. Are you sure it's the same as other sweet flowers? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh. now that you mention it, why is this sweet flower so big? So this is the wind bloom created by following this ancient recipe. <laughs> it really does make me think of sucrose. Huh, it does seem like something she would like. Do sweet flowers this size even count as sweet flowers anymore? Like, what is this? I can say with certainty that yes, yes they do. Their essence is the same. But Sucro said that she transcribed the recipe from an ancient book. Oh. Could it be that there were sweet flowers around even in ancient times? Oh, that's an interesting plot point. What else is there in ancient times? What else is there in the Ark Noir? <laughs> there were indeed sweet flowers in antiquity. This species has a long history. Seriously? Have sweet flowers really existed all that time? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well then, I must head further into the mountain. I still have painting to do. Perhaps you could pass this on? A traveler. Enjoy the celebrations. All right, Peter. Yeah. I'm going. Oh, Sucrose. We've got something for you. Oh, you're back. Timaeus, how's that homework coming along? Did you get the wind bloom? <laughs> let me see, let me see. Here's yeah. the flower he created, but Albedo said it's just... It's too far, I know. <laughs> Hey, you stop getting good secrets. Or is that? <sighs> it's just like the wind bloom in my dreams. You're telling me that this is a wind bloom? <gasps> oh. It's just a sweet flower. What? Is this sweet flower the wind bloom or is it just sweet flower? Tell me now. Wind bloom? Sweet flower, sweet flower, or wind bloom? No, no, hear me out. This is a perfect specimen from an ancient recipe. I saw it in my dreams. The tetratonic sweet flower. Tetanic? Oh yeah, this is a new thing, yeah. <laughs> uh the the what now? The what? <laughs> The seeds of the tetratonic sweet flower are four times bigger than those of ordinary sweet flowers. And the sweet flowers that grow from them are, well, tetratonic sweet flowers. This is getting, you know, I don't know more about this thing, area. <laughs> bigger, stronger, sweeter, and more beautiful. A perfect oh. Tibet species. Perfect Tibet species. Oh, and not to mention that the recipe comes from remote antiquity. This does have a deeper meaning. I don't know what the deeper meaning is. A perfect, magnificent flower from the far-flung past. This is my wind bloom. Sucrose is <sighs> consistently sucrose. Mmm, that's sweet. Oh man, you my taste buds that now I want some more cake. I must go and source some nutrients for my wind bloom. Bye for now. Okay, goodbye. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew alchemy could generate such enthusiasm? Sucrose. Now, Timaeus. Your homework? Low poems, please. Low poems, come on. Yes, raise the level. Just finished, sir. Here. Here. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Paimon's favorite part. Timaeus, may I recite it? Uh, so you're gonna read it out loud? Duh. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Uh -uh. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F. <laughs> hand in hand with you before the furnace, the flames fail to rise, for they are burning in my heart. My heart's burning. <laughs> wow. Sounds so romantic. And you even tailored it to your profession. Great job. Wow, thanks. What are we thinking here? Truly, a masterpiece beyond all expectation, Timaeus. Uh -oh. You're a natural. Natural. Miss, my genius. Really? Wow, I had no idea that someone like me could write love poems of any merit. 
It must have been Professor Venti's excellent guidance. Excellent. Professor, as soon as I'm done here, I'll sort out my tuition fee. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that's job satisfaction. And I guess that's everyone's homework collected. No? Are you asking for it? Hmm. Hmm. Aren't we missing someone? Oh, we're missing Kaya. Who could that be? Hmm. Oh. oh. I think I'm the nose. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Where did Bennett run off to? Oh, yeah, we did get Kaya. Barbara, we need to ask you something. Oh, Traveler, Paimon, Mr. Bard, something terrible has happened. Bennett's gone missing. Oh no, he went to Carmageddon. Um, missing? You mean he hasn't returned after leaving that day? Uh, yes! What if he's in danger? We have no idea where he is! What's been doing hunting slimes down with Asaria? <sighs> the Thousand Winds Temple. Huh? Rosaria? With you all in the cathedral shouting at the top of your lungs, I could hear everything you were saying. Oh, Paimon remembers now! He said something like, I've got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! There's no time to lose! Let's head to the temple and investigate! We've got to find the Bennett. We are not done here! Ah, oh, we're here! Bennett, we've come to the rescue! Whoa, this cell has two sections! Yeah, this is weird. This is very weird. Very, very weird. Very, 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 very... See what I mean? Even they're surprised by this crazy cell! Lucky you two got locked on opposite sides. Yeah, I forgot to say hi, Razor. <laughs> oh, what a superior design. Presumably an ancient mechanism is involved somehow. How do we unlock this cave? Let's find out, shall we? The shock holes. <sighs> There's gotta be a mechanism around here someplace. Quick, go look for it. Go there. <laughs> mm, stomach rumbling. I need to eat some electric meat. <sighs> You just ate the apple from my bag! Really? You two seem to have adjusted well to life in prison. We can leave you here if you like. Friends, man. How can I leave them? No, 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 no! Not funny! I'm begging you, alright? Please, find the mechanism! And open sesame! Ah, <sighs> freedom at last! Very unexpected. <laughs> I wouldn't call it unexpected. This was just a normal day for me. Sorry. Ah, no need to apologize. It wasn't even your fault. So, let's hear the story. Wait, what happened with that letter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was just a false alarm. Turns out some fans just wanted to get her attention so they could get a gift to her. What the? That's terrible! What kind of a person does that? What? I've been locked up here a whole day thanks to them! So those, this was a trap. S sorry Come on, are you serious? Can't be you! Don't be, Razor! Uh, I didn't mean... Uh, like I said, there's nothing to apologize for. It was my fault for being so hasty in the first place. I rushed off oh. without giving the map a proper look and ended up in the complete wrong location. Oh, I see. After I left the cathedral, I came straight to the area around the Thousand Winds Temple. This is why Bennett gets unlucky, because he's always unprepared. He never looks at the map. Teach you a lesson. But there are monsters everywhere, not to mention ruin guards. You know, those huge things. I guess you've seen them before, but as a first-rate adventurer, I was able to rely on my wits to evade them. <laughs> then I got to the temple itself. The moment I arrived here, I heard a monster's roar! Oh, oh I got scared too, Paimon. Well, Paimon's guessed the ending already! I remember thinking it must be some villainous trap that the perpetrator had set for us. But was Bennett the adventurer, leader of Benny's adventure team, about to back down? No way! So I charged straight in! Ugh. That's when I found him inside. And then you were like, oh, I gotta rescue that furry. Razor, what were you doing at the Thousand Winds Temple? Wolvendom. Many hunters. Too noisy. So, I leave. So, you came all the way to the Thousand Winds Temple, then what? You were trapped by the mechanism? <laughs> yeah. Turns out it was no ordinary cell. What with the inner and outer sections. Of course. When I saw that Razor had been trapped inside, I had to rescue him! Then, all of a sudden, there was a huge crash as the other cell door came down. Yep, just as Paimon expected. Yep. Anyway, 
Why did you come to the Thousand Winds Temple? <laughs> Bennett, did you forget about your homework? <laughs> I'm ready to collect my tuition fee once I've corrected it, of course. <laughs> oh, the love poem. Of course I didn't forget. All right, where is it? It's not like I had much else to do, being stuck in this cell all day and all night. So at some point, I just started working on it. It's all finished now. Even Razor reviewed it. <laughs> I know that Razor ain't the professional in love poem you working. <laughs> oh, yeah? Razor, how did he do? Uh, don't understand words, but feel warm, tingly, like Wolfhook Thorn. Oh, 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 Wolfhook. Bennett, may I uh, recite your work? Oh, sure. A taste of Bennett's wordsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! A round of applause! You and the Mayor Javari, so close and yet so far. One at the edge of the world, the other in the center of my heart. Wolfhook and Dandelion, my Windbloom offering to you. Now, what's with Bennett and Mayor Javari? He's always thinking about going to Mayor Javari. Uh, Wolfhook? It, yeah, not bad, right? <laughs> uh, it's... Definitely your style. Full of adventurous guilt spirits. <laughs> Marvelous work. Unpretentious and honest, sincere and evocative. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Bennett did good poem. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks to you too, Razor. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice job. Still, Wolfhook and Dandelion, can they both be wind blooms? Oh, that was Razor's edition. I asked him, what do you think the Windbloom is? Wolfhook was his answer. <laughs> yes, Wolfhook, good. So, even berries count now? Dude, berries, everything's Windbloom, right? Everything, everything, everything equals Windbloom. Not correct. Dare you. A novel take indeed. A novel take. Yeah, you know what? That just proves my point. Windblooms aren't anything. Windblooms are a mystery. Ah, <sighs> I'm so happy. Today was lucky. Alive. Getting rescued against the odds. Receiving praise from my poem. Brilliant. Yes. Sir, as soon as we're back in Mondstadt, I'll buy you some wine. Oh, wine. Wine. Yes. I hope it's non-alcoholic. Then it's pretty easy to please. <laughs> That's not quite it. <laughs> I'm always so unlucky. So I'll take what I can get. Yes, but in future, be careful. Hey, you should talk. <laughs> You hold this, you hold that. Everyone, I have an announcement to make. All the poems from the Fast Track class have now been collected. Great! So to celebrate, let's go to the tavern and have a drink. I'm afraid Razor and I have to be going. He said he knows of some relatively unknown areas worth exploring and wants to show them to me. Have a great time, though. Good time. Hey, Charles, it's us! Charles! Wait, who's Charles? Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Hey, Luke. I need you in my team now. Help me win the Abyss, do you look please? I need you to help me conquer the Uh Master D Luke! Oh, I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. As always. Just like last time, I remember. We were having a celebration here. <laughs> it is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and Mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. That's why I play all the minigame. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom star. What? Quite the honor. Whoa! I'm the star of Windbloom events? <laughs> Very much! <laughs> Windbloom star? The Windbloom star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors. Normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt, or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom festival period. Both check. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom ceremony together with the acting Grandmaster. During the ceremony, 
you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. Oh, oh. But which Windbloom are you talking about? Yeah, there's like a Street Flower one, there's a Wolf Hook one, there's a Windbloom Aster one, Sicilian one, there's so many. I... Huh. A good question. D Luke, care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details. Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. Wait, this is about knowledge, isn't it? <sighs> no sense of humor. <laughs> Traveler, the Windbloom is always chosen by the Windbloom star. So the flower offered to the Animal Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? Hey, where's the bartender? How come Master D. Luke's mixing the drinks? Oh, wait, I thought Master D. Luke was the bartender. Uh... If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. Oh, Charles is a bartender, okay. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? Hmm. I see. So, what do you make of Master Diluc's mixing ability? I haven't tasted it, actually. Why don't we ask the formidable Sister Rosaria? What do you think? <sighs> He's not bad. Formidable? <gasps> Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria and stayed my hand. Aha! Uh -huh. So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master D. Luke. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> my, such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly, a good day for a drink. Well said! So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. Great. They didn't come cheap. They're pretty expensive. They make it too. It's long to make, and it takes long to make. But it should be expensive, yeah. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. Longer it is, better the wine, and more expensive it should be here. How are you enjoying the Wind Bloom Festival, Traveler? It's a fun time. That's good to hear. A toast, everyone, to a happy Wind Bloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Uh, cheers! Cheers! <laughs> cheers! Welcome to Angel Share. I am Charles. <laughs> <laughs> what a festival! Now, this uh, won't drink itself! Okay, of course. Festival will never drink itself because festival is not a person, it's, a, it's an event. It's a city. Do these have mouths? I don't, I don't think so. The events have mouths? The events don't have mouths. That's so, so absurd. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? <laughs> oh, Tone deaf bard, spare a thought for other people. Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink. Oh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> all right, let's leave. All right, we're complete. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. The next one, we're gonna do some high quests and do Act Three festive anecdotes. All right, see you guys on the next one. Yeah. All right, like this content. Here's the Kelly. Hi. Appreciate the content. Come take a look. What the heck?